Hey guys, this video will be uh, from July the 30th to November the 23rd uh, and the regrets that I have had f um, due to the decisions I made uh, caused my husband to not be able to eat, drink, walk, or talk. Uh, so I wish I would have listened to our son who said, uh, why don't you just let dad do his thing and go ahead and go away for a while. And instead, uh, instead I, things just kept escalating until I got an emergency petition and um, sent him to the hospital. Okay, today is the 9th. Today's August the 9th. That was close. August. August 9th. And... LP is going to go to for rehab to strengthen his legs and his arms and his and his talking so that he will have strength with his voice and all of that. So there he is before he's going to go to rehab. So then we got to do FaceTime. That's it. Okay. okay. Here's another view of what's going on. Lots of equipment. With LP in the hospital and not being able to use uh, the pumps that was in the greenhouse, they had been let go and they were leaking like a sieve. And all of the collection systems that we have, I couldn't get any of the pumps to work right. So I carried the hose across the street to try to water things. And it was such a hot, hot summer. Uh, and uh, finally, I decided on an irrigation tap, but I knew I would need it for the winter. So I made the decision, even though it was like over $2,000, I had to start making decisions with LP in the hospital. And things didn't look good for him. Uh, and at one point, uh, they were just going to make him comfortable. He wasn't expected to live. Uh, he couldn't walk, talk, eat, or drink. And he had like a delayed reaction after they um, did uh, surgery on his brain. Uh, the first peg tube they put in, LP was not conscious enough to realize what he was doing and he pulled it out. So they had to put a more permanent peg tube in and they had to cut him open instead of just having a small hole in his stomach. They, there had, there's a pretty good size incision so they could make it more uh, where he couldn't pull it out as easy. So um, here is showing uh, the incision, uh, and it's starting to heal up pretty good at that point. And uh, it goes down all the way. I mean, it's a huge incision that goes all the way around and down over the front of his ear. Today is day two without the blood pressure medicine that causes edema. And he doesn't have as glazed of a look on his legs, I don't believe, uh, as he did. But he does still have the swelling in the ankles. LP is doing well. Uh, he has not uh, been on any medication uh, and he um, his hair's growing back and now uh, we're on our way to get the peg tube taken out. So he's doing much, much better. He still has, his right arm is still weak. Mm -hmm. LP is going to the doctors. Hey, hi folks. <laughs> it's me and I get this off my belly. Yes, his peg tube that he's had in since July, around the middle of July. It was I guess about, about the 
16th or 17th, somewhere in there. 